Hello, hello, friends. So today what we're going to do is kind of a grab bag of stuff. It's been a minute since I made a video, so I figured I'd make one today. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to compose two functions, compose functions to uh, write an algorithm that calculates Fibonacci to a given number and then sum up the even terms of that. This is basically a, um, damn, what's that called? I can't remember the name of it, but it was one of the first coding questions that I got back in the day. Project Euler. Yeah, it was a Project Euler question I got back in the day, years ago, four or five years ago. Um, I actually have made a couple of videos about calculating the Fibonacci on this channel and a couple about composing functions, but I figured this would be a good teaching tool. So basically the Fibonacci starts out at 0 and 1, then you add those together, you get 1. You add 1 and 1 together, you get 2. 2 and 1 get 3. 3 and 2, you get 5. 5 and 3, you get 8. 8 and 5, you get 13, 13 and 8. Who can really know what that is off the top of their head? Anyways, so that's the Fibonacci. If you grab it out on an x and y axis, it's a, it's a spiral. So we want to calculate that to a given number. So if we go, we want to calculate it to 10, and we pass in 10. Uh, I think I got the Fibonacci thing open over here. Let's look. Uh, not that. Let's go right here. Okay. So right here, these are the first 10 numbers of the Fibonacci sequence. So we'll just pa paste those in. So if we pass in 10, this is, this is the array that we want to get. And then what we want to do is write another function that sums up the even terms in this. And then we want to compose those functions together. So uh, yeah, first thing that we need to do is create a Fibonacci uh, calculation function. So we'll go calculate fib. And then that, what that's going to take in is the number that we want to calculate it up to. So we'll just call that num. And then up here, we're going to need an array to return. So we'll go const r equals empty array. And then we'll declare two variables, a and b. And then we'll go for let i equal 2, because we're going to put the first two elements of the Fibonacci in here to get it started. We'll put 0, 1 in there. So we'll say let i equal 2 while i is less than num i plus plus right cool not bad and so once we have that what we want to do when we're in here is the way that we actually calculate it is we can go a we can actually um we declared them up top now we can assign them we'll go a equals r at i minus one and then b equals r at uh, i minus two and then what we want to do is just in R, we would just want to push A plus B. If you look at that, what that's going to do is it's just going to add these two at first because I starts out at two. So it's going to add one and zero and that'll give us one and it'll push it in there. So that, and that'll, that algorithm will repeat until we get to the number that we want to get to. That's this test right here. So what we want to do is we just want to return that R down here. So let's just make sure that that works real quick. You can just console.log. Um, calculate fib and we can do it 10 spots because we've already up here got the first 10 numbers and we can just compare it so let's copy that and paste it down here and then down here in our code editor we can run it so node scratch okay and you can see 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 so these match and so this is working Cool, so now that we can calculate Fibonacci up to a specific number, now what we want to do is write another function that takes in an array, because this is returning an array. We want to take in an array, and then we want to loop through that array and sum up the even values. So that's not super hard. So we'll go uh, sum evens in array. That's what we'll name this function. Okay, so right here, again, this is going to take in an array. So it takes in an array, and then we can just make a let sum, and we can initialize that to zero, and then we can use the higher order array method helper uh, for each. So we can just go r for each, um, and that gives us access to the elem or the the element in the callback. We'll just call it elem, and we'll say sum uh, if elem mod two is equal to zero. That means if it's divisible by two without having a remainder, uh, that means it's an even number. We can add that to sum. So we'll go sum plus equals LM. And then down here, we just want to return the sum. So let's test this out real quick. Let's go down here and let's make a fake array, just a testing array. Let's go const r equals 
and we'll just fill it up with even numbers, two, two, and two. Well, that should give us six, but let's put an on there, a one. So if this is working, it should give us six instead of seven. So we'll go CLG sum uh, evens in R or in array, and then we'll pass in that R. So let's see what that gives us. It gives us six, okay, even though this one's here. If we give it another two, it should give us eight, and it won't, uh, it shouldn't add that, yeah, shouldn't add the one. Okay, cool, so now that's working. So now what we wanna do, uh, your first inclination might be to just call this sum evens in an array right here, but we wanna keep these functions to where they have clean input output to where I'm not calling other functions within the, lexically within the function body of another uh, function. So for that, we can just make a compose function. So let's just go const compose. And what compose does is it takes in the amount of functions we're gonna call, it's just two, so we'll take in A and B. And then we, we know that we're gonna have to initially give it some data of this number right here, so we'll just call that data. And then right here, what we can do is we can go A, B with data. So basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna run, it's gonna run this function and then with the output of that, it's gonna run this function. So A, it's gonna run B first, then A. So B should be calculate fib, right? So let's go down here, we'll go const compose calculate fib and add e, or, uh, sum evens. Nice name, right? Uh, what that's gonna equal is we're, what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna pass in that compose function that we made up here with the two methods. So we'll go compose and A was gonna be, A was gonna be sum evens in array and B was gonna be calculate fib. Sum evens in array and then B was gonna be calculate fib. Okay, cool. So now that we have this compose function and all these functions are in there, all we need to do down here is we can just console.log compose calculated fib and sum, and we can just pass in that initial value, which is gonna be 10. Now, we're since we're calculating it to 10, let's add this up real quick. So it would take two plus eight is 10, plus 34 is 44. So the answer should be 44 right here. 44 should be the output. So let's go down, let's go down here and we'll run it. And it gives us 44. So what we've done right there is, let me get rid of this so we can see a little bit better. What we've done right there is we've made a compose function, we've put in this function and this function, which has its own logic and its own input output, and then we've passed in the initial data right here. Then we told down here, we wanted to say if, if compose calculated fib and sum evens is called, that will be equal to this compose function, which the ordering is gonna be A and B. And the data is gonna be when we call it, which is gonna be right down here, so we would pass it in here, whoops, we would pass it in right here, and then we would call it. Basically, it's similar to running it like this. If we had sum evens in array, and then inside that we had calculate fib, then inside that we had 10. These two things are basically the same thing minus the console log, of course, so x. We'll just put a console, we'll put all this in a console log and we'll test to make sure that they give out the same thing, even though, you know, I know they will. So apple x, apple v. So basically these are the, this is the same thing. One with a compose function, one without a compose function. And let's just run them. Uh, cont control tilde uh, to open up your integrated terminal, run them, see, and they give us the exact same thing back. Okay, so these are basically the same, it's just that in here you're having to call it like this, and here you can just have one method that calls everything. So, hope that helped, uh, nice early morning algorithm, take it easy.